e-learning gate. It opens the cognitive learning paths with the help of digital resources. Welcome, curious minds, to an exploration into the attractive world of classification systems in biology. A fundamental concept that helps us make sense of the vast diversity of living organisms on Earth. Before we get on this journey, let's set our objectives. These objectives are challenges for you to learn. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to Number 1. Understand classification principles Number 2. You must be able to describe a species Number 3. Binomial system of naming Number 4. What are dichotomous keys? Number 5. Evolutionary relationships 6. DNA which stands for deoxyribose nucleic acid as a classification tool 7. Genetic relatedness and base sequences so number 6 and 7 will be covered under same concept. But every journey comes with its challenges. As we navigate the intricate world of classification, consider these questions. Few questions are multiple choice and others are short answers questions. Question number one. Why is the ability to reproduce and produce fertile offspring crucial in defining a species? Choose the correct option if you know the correct one. It ensures a longer lifespan for the species. Option B is... It allows for greater genetic diversity. Option C is, it simplifies classification efforts. Option D is, it guarantees a larger population size. Think and note down your answer. Now look at question number two. What does the binomial system of naming species involve? Only one option is correct. Again think and note down your answer. Similarly, look at question number three. Now look at this last multiple choice question.
Note down your answer. Now look at some short answer questions. Try to think and note down just the key terms with you. If your answers are correct, then well done. Now let us explore this topic. Let's first understand the concept of classification. That why we need classification. Imagine walking into a library with books scattered randomly. Would you be able to find what you need easily? Probably not. Now, think of classification as the library's system of organizing books into genres, making it easier to locate and understand information. In the organized library scene, finding the IGCSE biology book is effortless due to the systematic arrangement, allowing for quick and easy identification. So, if you understood the purpose of the two scenes, it means that you understood also classification in biology. So, now let us see that what are the principles of classification. 1. Shared Characteristics Organisms are grouped based on common traits, such as morphology, behavior, or genetic features. The more similarities organisms share, the more likely they are to be classified together. Example, nectar feeders birds. The bird with a long, pointed beak. This adaptation is perfect for reaching into flowers to extract nectar. Birds like hummingbirds and sunbirds share this characteristic and are classified as nectar feeders. Zebra and pony is another example. The second principle of classification is evolutionary relationships. Classification aims to reflect the evolutionary history of organisms. Species that share a more recent common ancestor are classified more closely. Look at the examples where the relationship among three species have been shown. It shows that species 1 and 2 have recent common ancestors, while species 3 shared common ancestor with both of them in the past. The third tool is hierarchical classification tools. Hierarchical classification tools are the systematic methods used to organize and categorize living organisms into hierarchical groups based on their shared characteristics and evolutionary relationships. In the world of biology, understanding how organisms are related involves exploring both their evolutionary relationships and the tools we use to classify them hierarchically. Now let us see that what is species?
In biology, a species is a fundamental unit of classification and represents a group of organisms that are capable of interbreeding and producing fertile offspring in nature. Now let us see that what is binomial system of naming. The binomial system of naming, also known as binomial nomenclature, is characterized by the use of two parts. In the name, the first part is the genus and the second part of the name is species. The genus is a broader taxonomic category that groups closely related species together. It is always written with an initial capital letter. For example, in the scientific name Panthera leo, Panthera is the genus, which includes big cats like lions, tigers, and leopards. The species epithet is a specific name unique to each species within a genus. It is always written in lowercase letters. Example, in the scientific name Panthera leo, leo is the species epithet, specifically referring to the lion. Let us have another example of human. So, our genus is Homo and species is Sapiens. So, our biological name is Homo sapiens. Now let us try to understand dichotomous keys. Dichotomous means branching into two, and refers to the fact that you have two descriptions to choose from at each step. Look at the example here. A dichotomous key is a tool that uses a series of yes or no questions, statements, or descriptions ordered or grouped in pairs in order to identify a specimen within a defined group of specimens. Look at another example here. Evolutionary relationships Evolutionary relationships in biology refer to the connections between different species or groups of organisms based on their shared evolutionary history. This relationship is represented by phylogenetic trees. A phylogenetic tree is a diagram that represents evolutionary relationships among organisms. Let us see the phylogenetic tree of human being.
Let us see the role of DNA in classification. DNA is the chemical from which our chromosomes are made. It is the genetic material passed on from one generation to the next. The basic building blocks of DNA are nucleotides. Each nucleotide comprises three components. Phosphate group provides a negative charge. Deoxyribose sugar forms the backbone of the DNA strand. Nitrogenous base, adenine, A, thymine, T, cytosine, C, or guanine, G. Look at the example here. Let's consider a hypothetical DNA sequence segment associated with a specific gene in two bird species, A and B. In this segment, both species share the sequence AGCT, indicating a common evolutionary ancestor. However, at the fifth position, species A has a thymine, T, while species B has a guanine, G. This difference suggests a divergence in their evolutionary paths. Look at another hypothetical example, the understand the process. We take in the example three species, human, chimpanzee, and fish with approximate timeline. The DNA bases sequence of the three species have been shown with different time period. In this example, three time periods are given to make it simple and understandable for you. These time periods are Start of the timeline, which is ancient time Middle And recent time During the three era, notice the changes which came in the bases sequences of the three species. The DNA sequence of the fish has changed over time, reflecting the accumulation of genetic differences. The changes in the fish's DNA sequence, from GGT to AGT and then to CGT, indicate genetic variations that have arisen since the common ancestor shared with humans and chimpanzees. We hope that you understood the concepts today. Stay curious, keep exploring, and embrace the wonder of the living world around you. Thank you for joining us today. Happy learning! Don't forget to go back to the beginning of the video and try to solve the questions now. We hope that you will be able to do them now.